Even though electric cars are receiving more positive attention and becoming more common, there are a few electric cars that are soon to be released, but yet they are not getting enough attention from the public. Here are a few worthy electric vehicles that you probably didn't know were coming soon. Faraday Future FF91 the FF91, which rides on Faraday Future's scalable variable platform architecture, throws a shadow that's extremely comparable to that of a Ford Expedition despite having a 7-inch longer wheelbase. Faraday Future claims the huge crossover can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds, thanks to a total of 1,050 horsepower from two rear-mounted electric motors, one for each wheel and an optional front-mounted motor. The FF91 is well capable of hitting 378 miles between charges due to a 130 kilowatt hour battery pack developed in collaboration with LG Chem, which is about 63 miles longer than a Tesla Model S P100D. The Model X P100D will be nothing compared to most electric vehicles from well-known brands. The official starting price of this vehicle is yet to be disclosed by the company. Fisker Ocean the 2022 Ocean promises to be driven entirely by electricity, with two or all-wheel drive options and a top speed of 2.9 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour. The Ocean is expected to have a battery pack with a capacity of 80 kilowatt hours with a forthcoming range of 250 to 300 miles, which is greater than Audi e-tron and Jaguar I-Pace. However, it is far less expensive than either of those luxury all-electric crossovers. Ocean will work with most electric vehicle charging stations. Fisker has collaborated with Electrify America to give owners an undisclosed amount of free charging. The Ocean features a simplistic layout that is contrasted by some basic controls. The dashboard of the Fisker has a big touchscreen, a digital gauge cluster, and a white faux suede material that runs across it. However, the Ocean is promoted as a cheap EV. The number of high-end standard features is anticipated to be restricted. We can only hope that its back seat and cargo space are more functional than those in the company's doomed sedan. The forthcoming Ocean will include a sophisticated infotainment system with a huge touchscreen and two wireless charging stations, despite the absence of details. While several luxury competitors provide Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connections, it's unclear whether Frisker will follow suit. The starting price of Frisker Ocean would be $37,000. Volvo XC60 Recharge Plug-in Hybrid Powered by three distinct motors, the B5, B6, and T8 are coupled. The vehicle is equipped with an 8-speed automatic transmission and 4-wheel drive. Volvo XC60 is an incredibly compact vehicle. It has a turbocharged 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine and a 48-volt hybrid system, providing 247 horsepower under the hood of standard B5-badged XC60s. The B6 has the same turbocharged 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine as the B5, but it has a supercharger for extra power. It should feel a little peppier than models with the standard B5 because it has 295 ponies in its stable. The T8 plug-in hybrid powertrain takes the B6's engine. It combines it with a series of electric motors to produce 400 horsepower in the recharge model and 415 horsepower in the Polestar engineered variant. The XC60 handles well, feeling connected to the road while cruising, and changes directions quickly. Still, it lacks the ferocity of the Porsche Macan. When driving over rougher areas of the road, the ride can be a little harsh. Still, on smoother sections, it's comfortable and relaxing. A 9-inch touchscreen infotainment display is standard on all XC60 models, and it runs Volvo's latest Google-based software interface. The system comes with a variety of customization options as well as voice controls via Google Assistant. Both standards are the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth connectivity, and an inbuilt Wi-Fi hotspot powered by a 4G LTE internet connection. The Volvo XC60 will be in the market with a starting price of $43,000. Genesis EV G80 We do not know much about the G80's electric drivetrain. It will come standard with all-wheel drive and range up to 310 miles according to the worldwide NEDC standard and 265 miles according to the Korean standard. Genesis hasn't officially revealed the battery pack's size or power output. 
Still, it does indicate that normal fast charging will be able to charge the battery pack from 10% to 80% in 22 minutes. With a claimed pace of 4.9 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour, the electric vehicle should be faster than the G80's base 2.5 liter 4 cylinder engine, if not as quick as the optional twin turbo 3.5 liter V6. The dashboard appears to be the same attractive design as the gas vehicle. However, Genesis claims to have used many recycled materials. The company has also opted for an appearance virtually indistinguishable from the normal G80, rather than the futuristic exterior and interior design accents seen on rival electric luxury sedans, such as the Audi e-tron GT and Mercedes EQS. The vehicle promises to feature safety and driver assistance, warranty, and maintenance coverage. We await more information from Genesis on the interior, infotainment, and connectivity. The starting price is $60,000. Lincoln Mark E SUV. Presently, there isn't enough information on what kind of electric powertrain the Mark E will have because the Rivian transaction fell through. It might be built the same way as the Ford Mustang Mach E, with a battery range of 75.7 kilowatt hours to 98.8 kilowatt hours, 459 horsepower, dual electric motors, and standard all-wheel drive. It might also provide an entirely new system with rear or all-wheel drive and up to four motors, one for each wheel. We won't know much more until the Mark E goes on sale. The Mark E is building out to be a powerful and speedy electric crossover in either case. It's expected that adaptive suspension will come standard, providing a luxurious Lincoln-like ride. The Mark E is expected to come with a big touchscreen infotainment system as standard equipment. The Aviator and Corsair SUVs, both new additions to the Lincoln portfolio, have a large screen of 10.1 and 8 inches, respectively, and run Lincoln's latest version of the Sync 3 software interface. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay will be included as standard. Features as well as in-dash navigation and onboard Wi-Fi, an optional premium stereo system, potentially calibrated by audio gurus Revel, will also be available for a starting price of $70,000. Lucid Gravity SUV Suppose gravity's mechanical foundations are similar to those of the Air Sedan. In that case, we may expect dual electric motors with up to 1,080 horsepower and standard all-wheel drive. The most powerful variants, like the Air, will most likely be most expensive, with lower-end gravity trims having lower horsepower ratings. The Air's adjustable air suspension is expected to be retained as a standard feature. Like the rest of Gravity's interior, the infotainment system and features haven't been fully unveiled. A big digital gauge cluster that integrates into a dash top infotainment touchscreen is expected. Voice recognition is almost certainly going to be included, although we haven't heard anything. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are examples of smartphone connectivity options. The company will release more details on Gravity's infotainment system closer to the SUV's debut. However, we have a confirmed starting price of $90,000. Lotus Evaya The Evaya's muscle-bound electric powertrain is a fantastic showstopper. It has four electric motors that produce propulsion with a combined output of 1,972 horsepower and 1,254 pound-feet of torque. That is nearly twice as much power as more expensive hypercars like the Aston Martin Valkyrie. It is all controlled by a single-speed automatic transmission which sends power to its four wheels. The car's low curb weight is intended to help it work better. According to the car makers, the Avaya weighs a little over 3,700 pounds, making it a record breaker as the lightest electric hypercar ever built. The highest speed of the Lotus Avaya is more than 200 miles per hour and is capable of sprinting to 62 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds. Range, City, Tour, Sport, and Track are the five driving modes available to alter the car's performance. A test run on the Avaya prototype offered a taste of the finished version, particularly the communicative steering rack and quick handling. While the prototype featured a detuned electric powertrain and lacked some of the car's more advanced features like active aerodynamics and torque vectoring across its axles, it nonetheless produced just over 1600 horsepower and demonstrated its ferocious acceleration. All Avaya hypercars come equipped with high-tech amenities like Bluetooth connection and an infotainment system. 
A digital display is located in front of the steering wheel. It gives the driver important information such as the battery charge and remaining range. That appears to be the only screen in the car. The Avaya has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto built in and an internal modem for cloud connectivity. They are making it possible for drivers to use a smartphone app to monitor the Avaya from anywhere, checking out its battery charge condition, driving range, and other settings. This vehicle is sold for a whopping $2,300,000. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.